Now, we all know that many of our students, when we encourage them to follow inquiry that matters to them, uh, when we encourage them to be self-directed, many of them often want to extend their learning. Many of them are interested in being really empowered to go further. And of course, as you approach summer break, sometimes parents and caretakers also are offering um, you know, to partner with you and help set their child up to further explore some of their interests. So how might we actually use chat GPT to create some roadmaps for students who are looking for extension? How might we also use this for our own professional development and learning? Let's check it out. So to kick things off, I am prompting ChatGPT to create a syllabus for a beginner looking to get better at public speaking. And here is ChatGPT breaking this down week by week. And again, initially, this might not be all that useful, but watch what we can do in terms of prompting ChatGPT to suggest resources that pair with a syllabus like this. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to provide three books. I'm gonna specify a window of time that I want those books to have been published by because I don't necessarily want a book um, you know, that's very old and maybe the advice or wisdom is a little bit outdated. So I've specified between 2007, 2019. Again, a reminder, ChatGPT's language model is only based up until 2021. So maybe these books are useful. But again, maybe the child that I'm working with, uh, maybe their local library does not have these books. So I'm also going to ask ChatGPT to recommend three podcast episodes to go with this. And again, I'm going to specify tightening up that window published between 2019 and 2020. So I've got a few more resources. And then, of course, resources are nothing without us actually trying to put some of our learning into action so the last thing I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do is to provide a list of five activities that can be practiced at home. And I'm specifically saying that each activity should take no longer than 10 minutes so that we can have short and sweet rehearsals, again, trying to improve our public speaking skills from a variety of different angles. And I have to say, actually, the list that it comes up with, it's not too bad. Again, I would likely go back in and tweak, but this has given me such a good point to start from. Hope this was useful.